So there's a lot of different components in the bar, a lot of different vitamins and minerals, omega-3s, etc., etc., etc. So we've been doing a series of what we call deconstruction trials to try to figure out what's critical. So we suspected it wasn't going to be a single ingredient. There's no magic bullet. The, the, the beauty of this bar is that there are multiple ingredients working together. That's what we suspected, but we didn't know. So we've done now a series of four, five deconstruction trials, and what we now know, and we've targeted HDL in lean people for the reason that HDL in lean people goes up in only two weeks, and that means we could afford to do these trials. Uh, in lean people that are adults. So that are adults, adults, yes, that are not teeny boppers, yeah. yes. And uh, so what we've found now, and I don't think I want to say exactly what they are, but that we know that uh, at least three and probably four different ingredients in the Cori bar all have to be there in order to raise HDL. And this makes an incredibly important point about how important the diet is as opposed to these sort of magic bullet supplements that, that people take. These are simply normal dietary amounts of critical ingredients that are missing from poor diets. And all we've done is put them back in and we get this dramatic change in metabolism. So it says a lot about how ingredients have to work together and complement each other in order to, to change metabolism. Whole food works uh, in concert. Each component of whole food has a function. It's like operating a factory where you need all the different pieces for manufacture of the product. You can't manufacture a product with one ingredient. Same thing with, with human nutrition. You need bits and pieces of the whole food uh, being placed in proper uh, temporal sequence so in relationship to the diet coming in at the same time is actually a useful thing for a lot of these nutrients. Some of the nutrients are helping to power uh, the engine and to facilitate the absorption of another ingredient. And if you know uh, that basic mechanic, then you can understand how whole food works. And, so, and then you have other components that are uh, impeding the absorption so that it doesn't come in too fast. Uh, the, the purpose of things like fire. We're mechanism people. We want to really understand what's going on. And what Joyce has shown with these deconstruction experiments is this is a fantastic tool in nutrition. You, you can say the Mediterranean diet is wonderful, but why it's raising HDL, it's so complicated to figure it out uh, looking in people. But uh, you can try doing experiments in rats and then extrapolating to people. But it's just muddy. And the nice thing about the bar is you can leave out the vitamin group. Does, that, does the bar still work to raise HDL in two weeks? And then you can leave out the fiber group. Does the bar still? And, and Joyce has been doing these experiments, and it's complicated. There are more than one thing. And you can pin it down. And you couldn't do that in epidemiology in a Mediterranean diet.